morning and welcome to the virtual student recognition of UP Mindanao. This morning, we are gathered to recognize and honor the academic accomplishments of our students who made it to the chancellor's list and dean's list for the second semester of AY 2020 to 2021 and the chancellor's list and dean's list for the semester of AY 2021 to 2022. Student awardees, this is your day of recognition and celebration. We honor you and your parents, guardians, relatives, professors, and supporters, together with our university administrators and staff, all who have collectively contributed to your academic accomplishments thus far. I also congratulate our Office of the University Registrar, led by our able and dedicated University Registrar, Professor Karen Joyce Kayamanda, for organizing this event as part of our year-long celebration of UP Mindanao's 27th anniversary celebration. It is also fitting that we acknowledge the amazing achievements of our student awardees who have continued to stand up for UP's values of honor and excellence, even despite all the odds brought about by the pandemic in the past two and a half years. Aside from the core values of scholarship, academic excellence, academic freedom, integrity, humanism, social responsibility, and service to the nation, UP students are also being molded to be steadfast and persistent to enable them to rise above any difficult situation such as the current pandemic. In fact, these core value is also reflected in the theme of our anniversary celebration this year rising above disruptions, sustaining the culture of excellence towards the next normal. Student awardees, your academic performance in the past two semesters prove that you can overcome difficult obstacles. May your hard work, dedication, and tenacity also inspire your fellow UP Mindanao students to carry on. On the part of the UP Mindanao management, we will do our best to address student concerns raised by your university student council and recently by the student regent who conducted a consultation meeting in our campus the other week to enable you to adjust to the next normal, even as we plan for the resumption of face-to-face -face classes starting next academic year. May I also take this opportunity to quickly clarify UP Mindanao's position on the current escalation of tensions brought about by the statements of individuals putting our students in undue stress and anxiety. UP Mindanao respects the diversity of convictions and beliefs that encompass the broad ideological spectrum in fact, historically, UP has been known to be a marketplace of various discourses and ideologies. We encourage freedom of thought and expression as long as it is within legal bounds. We call on everyone concerned to observe sobriety and objectivity. Please let me quote from the Freedom of Intelligence written by UP Professor Emeritus Jose Y. Dalisay Jr. We badly need to refresh the tone and quality of discourse in the university and to rescue it from the trolls and the sloganeers. We must secure and defend the university as a zone of free thought and free speech. Ironically, no matter what they may espouse, and no matter how obnoxious, 
employing reason to distinguish truth from lies and right from wrong. We must resist intolerance whether, wherever it comes from, mindful that left and right can be as intolerant as the other, toward each other and to anyone in between." End of quote. So to all our student awardees and university constituents, please note that our values of honor and excellence also go hand in hand with the freedom of intelligence. And UP obviously is the last bastion of this freedom. On a personal note, this is my promise to you, our dear students. The administration will continue to protect you against any form of harassment. In turn, promise me also that you will use your critical thinking in the right track for national development. To all our student awardees today, padayon, and congratulations to all of you. Maayong buntag sa tanan.